Hey guys, welcome to my channel. All right, so I'm going to be doing a beginner's sewn tutorial, uh, how to sew some tool, roughly some tool in your sewing machine. Okay, guys. Now, just a disclaimer, I am new to sewing. This is probably like my third or fourth project sewing, uh, maybe the fifth. So I am in no way like a professional. I'm just going to go ahead and show these little tips so that anyone who is struggling or, you know, maybe this way will work for you. So this is what they look like. Okay. And we're going to be sewing tool, as I said. Now, this tool is from BB Craft. This is part of my BB Craft item. And I know that I'm live, guys, but I'm not going to be paying attention to the, to the comments. I wanted to pre-record this, but I don't have any room on my phone. So this is how I can get it out to you. All right. So um, I'll leave the code for BB Craft. You can use my code Poochie5 to get $5 off of 40 Hey, Brenda. Um, and then I will also link my video with all the items. We're going to be making projects out of this. And so, yeah, let me go ahead and get started, guys. So this is the tool that was in there. I'll link everything, okay, in the description box for you guys. I am using my brother's uh, S, there it goes, SQ9285 sewing machine. I love this. I'm new once again. So this is not like no, any professional advice or whatever. It's just what works for me, okay? So we're going to grab our tool. You can grab any tool. I got my daughter being a camera girl right now, so... Sorry if it's not the best quality. So you're going to grab your tool and you're going to fold it three times, okay? So here goes two. And then once again, over the other way, okay? Three. So you're going to get three. And you'll be able to make two out of this. You can make this as long or as short as you want. This is perfect for me because I'm going to be using it for embellishments. It's going to be the perfect size. All right, so this is what it looks like. Hey, guys. Um, I'm not going to be paying attention to the chat. Could you guys in the chat let everyone know? Because I want to get this out really quickly. I got my daughter holding it. I don't want no mistakes because this is live. So this is what it looks like. It's probably 10 or 12 inches, okay? And we're going to fold it over and over because make sure it's straight because we're going to cut it. And you're going to get a better, more um, accurate cut if you fold it like this, okay? So we're going to fold it small like this. And I'm just going to eyeball it in the middle, okay? Just like that. You're going to get two pieces out of this. So now I'm going to unravel this. I'm going to unfold it. But I'm still going to leave my three layers. Okay? So we have one, two, and three layers, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and show you, show you guys how to sew this in your sewing machines. Um, make sure that it's straight. Everything's lined up. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and down to here. So a little bit higher right there. I'm so sorry, guys. This is live. Okay. Um. So once it's straight, I feel like it's crooked. Hold on. Let me get it nice and straight for you guys. All right. So once it's straight, you're going to place it. Make sure your strings are to the back or to the side your thread, and then you're going to put it right here in the middle, okay? You're going to drop your foot. You're going to drop your needle, just like that, okay? Now, what I do, what works for me to make this easier when I ruffle it is I use this stitch here, number five, okay? This one here, which is a zigzag. And the reason why I use this one is because it takes this time to make the zigzags, right? So it gives me enough time to ruffle it. Okay, so that's why I use number five, this zigzag setting here. All right, so any zigzag or um, this right here will probably be too fast and it might be hard. You won't get a nice ruffle. Okay, and then for speed, I'm going to use two right here, the second speed. So let me have Amaya go ahead and hold the camera. What? I can't see. I want to see. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, baby. So, guys, when it's going, when the machine is going, what you're going to do is you're going to gather like this as it's going like this. Okay, that's how you're going to get your ruffle. This is how I did it. Once again, I'm not a professional. I just want to show you guys what I do just in case it might help anyone. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. We're going to go ahead and I got my needle in. I got my foot down so it can hold it. I got it placed in the middle and we're just going to do that motion to ruffle it. Okay, guys, here we go. And it's at a fast speed. So see, it does a perfect speed, enough time for you to, just like that. 
And you might have to do it a couple times. But you see how it's taking its time to do that zigzag? It's just a perfect enough time for me to fold it in. Just like that. So once I get to the end, I'm going to backstitch it. Okay, watch your fingers right here. Let me stop. And then I'm going to backstitch. Okay. I'm going to let my needle up, let my foot up. Move back a little bit, Maya. Yeah, right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clip my thread. I'm sorry, guys. This is live. So I just want to show you guys. Let me clip my thread. And there goes your ruffle. So it's not the best ruffle right now because I'm probably nervous. Let's do this again, all right? So you get two pieces out of this. This is what it should look like. These are the ones that I did before. This is what it should like should look like. Okay. So let's do another one. This is the other piece. So once again, we're doing a zigzag uh, stitch. So it can take its time. It has enough time for us to feed it in. Since I'm a beginner, I get nervous. And if it's going too fast, I'll mess up. And if it's going too slow, I get impatient. So this is what works for me. So we have our tool. Pay attention. I got my baby helping me, guys. I'm trying to get her to get this video in good so other people can see it. So I'm moving my strings to the back. I'm putting my tool in the middle. Letting my foot down. Letting my needle down. And again, we're going to do that motion, okay? So go ahead and fold it in. You can see it like folding under. This would probably be a better one. So it's going nice and slow, it's taking its time doing that zigzag, and it's giving me enough time to fold it in. I'm particular about my ruffles, guys. I don't like it too ruffly. I don't like it where it's like too far space apart. I'm weird about that. Sometimes I won't buy like trim if it's like too a certain way. So it's at the end. I'm gonna back stitch. I'm gonna let the foot up, let the needle up, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my thread so you see this one came out so much better okay guys we're gonna make an embellishment out of this i just want to do this tutorial for you and um let's do one more just for anybody who's joining so again i'm using this bb craft this is the bb craft project i guess you could say what does cheryl say i'm still trying to learn how to fold the paper okay the we'll do one of those probably another time but i just want to show you the tool so again, you're gonna grab your tool. You're gonna fold it over three times. You can do even four layers. Let's do four layers. Let's see how it looks. Let's do, that's two, three, and one more. This tool is so beautiful. They have this tool at BB Craft in a bunch of colors. I'm gonna have to collect more colors. Go over there, Elijah. All right, so we have four layers now, okay? So this is our tool. For those of you who are just joining, I'm just trying to show you guys how to do like a beginner's, how I'm, how I'm learning how to do my ruffle tool. I'm going to fold it over because I want to cut it in the middle. This helps me to get a better cut. Okay, I'm just going to eyeball it. Can you guys see okay? Let me know if this tutorial is okay, guys, please. I'm going to cut it in the middle, and you get two out of this, okay? So let's let our layers go. We still want to have our four. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Okay. So this is how long it should be. It's about 12, 10 to 12 inches. Okay, guys? Make sure that it's straight. And let's go ahead and put it into, feed it into our sewing machine. We're going to move our strings to the side. And I'm going to do a review. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys how to... Um, how I use this sewing machine. I'm going to show you how to, what is it called? Thread your bobbin, I think is what it's called. Once again, disclaimer, I'm not a professional. This is the beginning stuff, me learning. So I put my foot down. I'm putting my needle down. And again, I'm doing a zigzag stitch so that it can take its time for me. So I'm just feeding it in. Finger, 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 finger. Side, side, like that. This is four layers of tool, okay, guys? So it's taking its time to do that zigzag, and it's giving me the perfect amount of time to do this. Okay? 
I think it's getting a little rougher with the four. So I recommend the three. The three is going to be okay for me. Okay. And then I'm going to back stitch. Back sew, back stitch. All right. So let's let this out. And let's see how this bad boy came out. All right. So this is with the four. Oh, it got jammed right here. Okay. It didn't sew right on this side. But this is how it looks with the four. So I recommend doing the three. I think that the four is a little too much for my sewing machine. Um, You know, because I'm, again, I'm a beginner. So, and this is what they look like. All right. So you guys can use these for whatever, whatever projects. All right. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I'm sorry that it's not the best quality or whatever. And again, I am a beginner, but I just want to show you guys what worked for me so they can help anybody else out. All right. I'll catch you guys in another video. I will be back later on to do a tutorial with you guys. Bye, guys.